Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here real quickly and um, do this little video. Um, just giving you my first impressions on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cow Bunga Collection, which, um, as I uh, reach over here, which I do have. And um, basically, as I adjust my seat here, um, I do have to say that it does live up to a lot of the praise that it gets, but I can definitely see, you know, some people being a little critical about it because of, you know, the, you know, the, I guess, the pixelization, if you will, or the over-pixelization, even though there's an option with some of the NES games to kind of smooth that out as best you can. Um... I know some people might say, well, it looks a little more pixelated than it should be. And I, I agree with that because it does feel like, wait a minute, you know, why does this feel a little off compared to like other releases or ROMs on MAMES, if you will, that, or courtesy of MAMES that uh, people have? You know, why, why does it look so different? And the reason it may look a little bit more different than the you know, than what we're um, used to seeing previously is um, mainly because of the fact that what Digital Eclipse and Konami is doing, mostly Digital Eclipse is doing, is um, they're, they're transferring all the original ROM files to Blu-ray. It's, it's not like a, a remastering or anything. Well, it's kind of a remastering, you know, but they're basically taking all the games from the original source material and putting them onto Blu-ray, putting them onto uh, digital uh, release, like for Steam and you know digital release to the X, the Microsoft Store and Xbox eShop on Nintendo, um, PlayStation Store, and all that. You know they're um, you know they're they're basically kind of um, you know they're basically uh, up converting. Uh, the original uh, source material, source codes, to fit more into what you would uh, be accustomed to with your TVs of today, of your 720s, your 1080s, and your 4Ks, and even if some of you can afford it um, in some capacity, your 8Ks. Uh, that's basically what they're doing. It, it's kind of like with... Um, I know it's a strange similarity. It's kind of like with the SD on BD stuff, you know, that they're doing. You know, what some shows that Discotech and Warner Media and other places are doing. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when they put a lot of the television shows on Blu ray, you know, all it's really doing is it's showing, you know, what you saw originally, like, let's say, through a DVD release, but it's up converting the image to look a little bit more sharper and everything to look a little bit more crisp and all that it, it's kind of like you know when I use something like online-convert.com or I take my time and I use something like um, Cyber Power Director like I did the other day for my Yogi Bear uh, movie collection video animated movie collection video uh, basically what it's doing is it's uh, converting it's upscaling if you will, in a sense, reformatting the original, um, the original uh, pixels, the original, um, you know, yeah, the original pixels, the pixels, the original picture. And in this case, you know, like let's say with my blockbuster video thing that I did, you know, I have converted that to uh, 1080p. Well, actually, I convert up converted that to. Uh, what was it, the 24 by something, I think the 24, 10 by, by 80, I think, or oh, 24, it was something, let me, let me check real quickly, I think it was the 28 times 1080, I'm just going to make sure guys, real, just real quickly, um, You know, I'm just trying to trying to make. Oh, maybe I got it wrong here. Let me let me check that. Yeah, that's what it's two. Basically, when I um, 
when I uh, uh, basically took all those original clips that I did I recorded in 72480 with my camera back in 2010 2011 and put them together in one video where uh, where basically I um, you know by piecing them together I kind of upscaled all of them to uh, to a near 2k resolution near 2k which is 2840 uh, by 1080 or something like that 2840 by, by 1080 or you know to that extent if you will uh, <laughs> but um, uh, anyway to get to get on topic here that's you know and how, what it has to do with the Calabunga collection which of course you're watching so many images here on the screen um, as well from gameplay and the menu stuff that I I was going through um, basically that's what they did here and like I said to, to compare it to SD on BD that's kind of what they do there they kind of just take the you know they just kind of take the um, you know they just kind of take the original DVD transfers and they put it onto Blu-ray if there's no like you know uh, work prints, there's no original film prints and stuff like that. They just take uh, the N NTSC standard definitions that they had on DVD and just put them on Blu-ray, and it gives it an up convert to 1080 2K, 1080p 2K, um, you know, in some capacity. It's not like a true remastering, but it basically ups the bit rate a little bit, where it looks sharper and cleaner, you know. To a certain extent, and when it comes to video games, you know, especially games that originated, you know, um, in the arcades, um, on the home consoles like the NES and Sega Genesis and the portable systems like the Game Boys, when you take those ROMs and you put them on a Blu-ray as part of a collection, what, what kind of makes it feel a little bit more pixelated? You know, what makes it feel a little bit more pixelated? Uh, um, you know, what it makes it feel makes it feel a little bit more pixelated is that up is that up conversion that that blu rayness you know, or that not blu rayness but that up conversion to that higher resolution to match in tone and in step with with how you watch on a screen. So you know, so you know that's why if you know the game seems a little pixelated depending on if you're gonna play it in its original you know format original you know four by three uh, box box um, imagery or full screen imagery or widescreen you know that's why it looks you know the way it does because it's a ROM being remastered you know or not remastered but basically being dumped onto a blu-ray disc and what the Blu-ray disc is doing is, you know, you know, um, you know, um, basically, you know, with the ROMs being dumped onto the Blu-ray, it's basically, you know, just like with a, a an N NTSC standard definition, um, image or picture or video is just getting a bump in a bump in bit rate and sometimes that bump in bit rate you know works out well and sometimes it doesn't and that's really about it that's really about it so if you so if there's one thing I think people would kind of take issue with it's that but overall the presentation I think is great I mean you could just get the controller right away and play the game and you know kind of get an idea of how the controller works for certain games and everything and I haven't tried it yet but I'm pretty sure if you have a arcade stick a fight stick like what I do with the PXN uh, my PXN one anyway I know there's a new one out but the one I have um, I'm pretty sure with the arcade games that they have on there with the original arcade game of Turtles in Time and the Ninja Turtle arcade game from 89 that you can play those, you know, just as good, if not better, with that because you you get that familiar arcade feel with it, you know, when it comes to an arcade stick or fight stick, if you will. But uh, overall, 
you know, besides I think that little nitpick of, you know, the, you know, the uh, imagery being a little bit more pixelated than it should, and, and again, it's all because of the ROMs being dumped onto a Blu-ray disc and getting that bit, bit of a, a, a jump, a bump in, in bit rate and up, you know, and bit, and, and, see, hold on for a sec. Um, but basically getting that up conversion in, in bit rate, that bump, if you will, you know, to look a little more cleaner and sharper when it comes to the more modern TVs and monitors of that go between 720 to all the way to 8K if you're fortunate enough to afford something like that. You know, that's why it looks the way it does because it's basically being dumped onto the Blu-ray and it's getting, like I say, that bump in, you know, image uh, quality. It's getting that bump in image bitrate uh, to be more you know acceptable for today's modern televisions and um, and besides that though um, I think it's a great collection you know I love the fact that it gives you exactly everything it says it does you know it gives you the option to play the Japanese versions or the English versions it gives you a lot of bonus material you know like the soundtracks to all the games it gives you the uh, it gives you the comic books that have featured the turtles from the original Mirage Studios to the Archie comics which oh by the way they do have issues of nin uh, featuring Ninjara, Yumiko, uh, Umako if you will depending on how you, you you pronounce that but they do have you know the issues with her in there um, they have uh, issues of all the IDW books up to date including and they even have you know a section for the image uh, run that they had for a brief period. They also have information on the animated series, which I think chronologically, you know, from a season perspective, they got to get the they they should have got the episodes more corrected because I think Catwoman from Channel Six was in the middle of season two, not towards the end, as far as I know. Um, you know, they do have a strategy guide for you to, you know, to kind of. It'll give you an idea how to play this collection of games, you know, all, all that. As well as they give you the original manuals from the original games themselves. You know, like the you know, like when you would buy the game or something like that. They give you the original manual um, as well. But overall, you know, it's a good collection. You know, for forty bucks, you can't go wrong. And um, I highly recommend if you're a total fan you know, uh, and you're a fan of these games and you've played them throughout your life to to get them. Uh, to, you, you owe it to yourself, I should say, to get this game. You really do owe it to yourself. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say, guys, on it. Uh, just wanted to do this little video and um, let me know what your thoughts are overall on it. Um, I'm, I do apologize. I'm a little out, out of it right now. My mom's on the phone right now with my sister and, you know, she's using speaker because it's easier for her. Uh, to use, um, but yeah, I'm just you know just you know I'm you know I have to work around with that, and as well as the fact that I'm tired. It was a very busy day today, guys at work. Even for short hours, it's very busy, and um, I'm just you know worn out. That's all I can say. I also had to do cards for about 40 minutes because the guy they had for that day, for the for yet for today uh, was at lunch. So, uh, but yeah, I'm. Again, I just wanted to come out here and give you my thoughts on it, and uh, let me. And that's about it. So let me know overall what do you think about uh, Cowabunga Collection? Have you played it yet? Do you have any issues with it? Do you think the pixelization, because the you know jump in bit rate, you know with the dumping of the ROMs on the Blu-ray, is an issue, or do you think maybe it's, it's something to expect? Uh, let me know down below. Comment if you like. Live chat during the premiere. Like the video. You know. Go, you know where to find me at all my other outlets as well. Um, and if you are curious if I think they could fix the bitrate deal, you know, make it look a little bit more smoother and cleaner, uh, they already established that they are willing to put patches into this. So we already have a 1.01 .01 patch already installed, and I believe we will get another patch that will probably, you know, smooth out everything to look a little bit more cleaner and decent and more I guess you can say visual 
a visual representing what they're supposed to. But overall, I think it's a good game as it is, and um, a good collection of games as they are and as is. And uh, that's all I'm going to say. So again, let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below in the comments, as well as in the live chat during the premiere, where Super Chats and Super Stickers are open. Super thanks afterwards. Uh, you can help support me over at Venmo at brian warmer 2 and at Cash App at BWRoses98. Check me out on my BWRoses Discussions podcast, all your favorite audio podcast locations except for Pandora. Check me out at Patreon.com at BWRoses at the one with the support of a $1, $3 tier. Check out the Teespring store for merchandise you can't get anywhere else. And until next time, guys, I'm going to get relaxed here while this re video renders, and I will talk to you later. God bless. Take care.